This woman lost an ovary and a fallopian tube after having to delay an abortion in her home state of Tennessee. Here's why she says the state took her fertility. Brianna Cecil was told at an early prenatal appointment that her baby had a crania, a rare disorder that means the infant would be born without any bones in their skull and expected to not live past the first week of life if they're even born. Many babies with this condition die in utero. Despite this, Cecil did not fall under Tennessee's very limited exceptions for abortions. Technically, her life was not at risk yet, and this was not a case of rape or incest. She made the decision to abort. Cecil had to go to Chicago to get the procedure done, as in her home state, she would have been forced to eventually deliver what would have likely been a stillborn. When she returned home, she developed a fever, and when she went to a local hospital, they discovered she still had fetal tissue inside her. This meant it could become infected and cause her to go septic. Two days later, her fever continued, so she went to the hospital, where doctors found a 9 centimeter size abscess in her abdomen that encompassed some of her reproductive organs. Doctors performed emergency surgery, and in the process, had to remove her right ovary and fallopian tube. Now it's even harder for Cecil to conceive. And this was after years of struggling with infertility and wanting more children. Cecil believes the delay and travel complicated her procedure and blames the state of Tennessee, in her words, for taking her fertility from her. Had she been able to get care in her home state in a timely manner, things might have turned out differently.